on that. I can stand on this? You can stand on that, yeah. We made it sturdy enough. This is a load-bearing structure? It can hold me. It's load-bearing. Well, I might. Well, let's see what happens here. That is not load-bearing. <laughs> Don't hold on to the, the floppy. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, stop, you faker. Just kidding. So, hey, everybody. It's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And today is one of those days that's a bittersweet day. Um... We raise our food same way as we raise our vegetables and our, our fruits and things that we grow, uh, chicken, eggs, chickens, beef, pork. We treat everything we can with the utmost respect when it's, when it's in our care. But then when it's time to harvest because we are omnivores, uh, we do everything we can to make sure that's done with the utmost kindness and painless, no yelling, no screaming, no, none of that. Nope. But we do eat meat. We're not vegetarians. And therefore, we've decided that having seen how the industrial food complex deals with animals, which is harsh, mm -hmm. and I understand that we're not in that world, but... Well, we also know what is our what our food is eating. You know, our our animals eat a very healthy diet. They're not organic. They are. They are. But it's they're not, not labeled FDA. You, right, USDA organic. Um, but it is. They organic. are. Yeah. So um, they get. We know exactly what these animals are eating, and it is good enough for us. <laughs> Well, and we just can't stomach the idea no. of abusing the animals not for profit or a fast turnaround. Mm -mm. That's not how we feel like you should deal with it. Right. And so, um, and not to judge others who don't do that. No. Hey, you know what? I It's not our way, but if that's, if we're that's not, we're not here to do, do that. Right. If that's what you guys are able to do, then fine. That, But that's what we're able to do is different. And this is, this is what we do. So that's what we're showing you, what so, we do. So today is the real deal. Today's the it's, day. It's time for our pigs to go and be processed. Yep. And what that means is we've treated them good their entire lives. They've had, trust me, they're happy piggies. Mm -hmm. uh, and today is the day where we're going to take them off to a friend who's a Mennonite who mm -hmm. does the processing, treats the animals with respect. Yes. And we get back delicious pork. <laughs> yeah. And to be honest... Our goal is that the only second that they have that's a bad day moment right. is that the very last second. And by the time they even know what's going on, it's over. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at what you're saying. It's Caleb's face. Caleb's holding the camera. Caleb needs to tuck in his elbows. <laughs> He's holding the camera and Caleb needs to do some more push-ups apparently. Because his sorry. arms are... I got caught. I got his face distracted me a couple of times, and it's yeah, just struggling. See the camera shaking. Yeah. So there we go. Serious yeah. moment, and Ruined. yeah, <laughs> we try to treat the animals right. So yeah. that said, here we go. So here we have. We've we've got them out of their pen, they which everything is super wet right now. It rained like crazy yeah. yesterday, which yeah. always makes it. Nicer. Oh, always makes it so much fun. Sloshy and slippery. Scoochy, and they've dragged all this pen. in. Big pen was extra slippery today. Extra slippery. I almost fell twice. So, so. Mama and Hope got them, one of them in we here, and then we coaxed another one in with some of the fermented mash. All right, folks. So after much puffing and blowing, we built, well, Mom and Hope built this chute, which was nice, so that they don't have to step up far because pigs won't do a big stare. No, they need small steps to go up because they got short little legs. You know? yeah. They're not going to go up from the ground to the back of the stock tank or the stock no. trailer. And the real key, if you want to have pain-free loading, is food. Food, their favorite. Food, food, find the favorite food. And then you don't have to mess with it because they'll follow it. As you can see, there's a little trail. Yeah. They started out over there, and then we kind of just brought them in from the outside and 
you just kind of tap them on the butt. Hey, Clover, how's it going? You're looking good today. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. You are one handsome calf. Okay, so here's the scoop, folks. We came out here to kind of talk to you about hay and what we're doing, but I, I, gotta, I gotta pause for just a second. How many of you out there have, um, you know, the kids are loud and the neighbors are cutting grass and the TV's on and just a million things are going on and just somebody decides to play piano in practice and you just can't think and so you escape somewhere? to just get away for a sec. Mm -hmm. That's right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mowing. Kids are doing dishes now. There's piano going and yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. No, no. It's just sometimes Gotta. it just needs to quiet down for a little, just a little bit. Mom, dad need a time out. Well, it's not coffee time yet. No, it's not coffee time yet. We do have coffee time. Yeah, after barn chores, we have coffee. Coffee. Maybe, actually, we, maybe we should go coffee. live. Maybe we should go live tonight. That was actually fun. I can make it to where you don't have to do I anything. I have something I'm working on. Maybe tell remember? them about that. Do you remember? Maybe you could take 10 minutes. I have to work on the cookbook. We have been working on yes. the cookbook. You did your part, and now I'm doing my part. Okay, so. pause. Tell them. We, we have been working on another one of our home recipe mm -hmm. cookbooks. Yep. Yep. That hopefully we're going to share with you soon. Mm -hmm. So he's typed them all up off my scribbles and, you know. And I changed things. a few things. Yes, he did. It drives me nuts. So I'm going back in and changing them back. Tell them, though. I have this weird ability. I have this weird ability that if I read a recipe, I know what it's going to taste like. Yeah, you do. And it's really annoying. It really is. Why? Because. Because I'm right? 90% of the time. There's there's some dude food that comes out. Dude food is always a mistake. That's why we call it dude food. Dude food is like whatever is left in the fridge and then you throw barbecue sauce Ugh. on it. Oh, that's gross. No. Generally, I'm pretty good though. Yeah. Anyway, getting back on track. So we've been working on the um, the cookbook and you're almost done. I No, I'm not almost done. You have less than no. four days. No, I'm not almost done. I probably have another week. That's pretty much almost done. Yeah, well, I just started two days ago. <laughs> That's thanks to my typing skills. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of grammatical errors. It's it's editing, making sure that the, the directions flow right and everything is lined up and all of that stuff, so. Well, I got to tell you, anytime you guys do buy a cookbook or a beard balm or any of that hand cream and stuff Lip that, balm that we make. Lip balm is my favorite. Anytime you buy any of that, it does help us to continue making videos for yeah. you. And being able to afford a phone or a tripod or a camera or a thing so that mm -hmm. it's actually worth watching. So yeah. thank you very much. Yes. Now, hey... Why did we go with buying hay? Well, we don't have enough property for one. Um, we the, the pasture that we have, our animals graze on that. Um, we do have a small, probably three quarters of an acre, but that doesn't make enough hay for the animals through the winter. Our winters are very long. Mm -hmm. um, from the time the grass starts, is done growing, till we get grass again is approximately seven months <laughs> unless winter comes early but uh which knock on wood right. hopefully it doesn't right and we've talked to many 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 farmers about cutting and making hay um and they say it's not worth it unless you have 50 acres you don't make then you, you don't, break even you break even at 50 acres because of the cost of the tractor and all of the Up implements key. and the in in the in the breakage and all of the stuff that happens time time yeah exactly it doesn't doesn't cost it's not cost effective it doesn't, doesn't pencil, pencil out. out it doesn't pencil out <laughs> right right which I love that phrase yeah I do too 
I do love that phrase. Yeah. So uh, we purchased hay this year and last year. Um, and honestly, another reason, we're getting old. I don't mind. I, I actually loved it. I loved drove it. drove the tractor. What? <laughs> And I stacked all of it with everybody. Yeah, I know you did. I know you did. It was just, it was hard on, on me and the kids and you. And I know you liked it. I loved being outside, but it was just, it was really hard work. And if you don't grow up doing that, you know, it's, it's, it's something hard to get used to. <laughs> well, and so. again, I, I personally don't mind it, but it was hard. Yeah. Most certainly. Mm -hmm. Um, I would prefer round bales to square bales. Yes, round bales much easier. We thought that square bales were going to be a good deal because you can pick them up and move them easily during winter, and that is true. That is true. But we have a tractor now. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. We did. We did purchase a few square bales from a friend of ours um, until we can get our calf outside. But. Well, that's fun. Yeah. The calf. Clover is such a sweet calf. She's a pistol, though. She's a pistol. Um, she got into we we were cleaning out her little area, and she we put her into the stall with the other cows, and she immediately started drinking off of her mama. Immediately. Now we gotta start again. Yeah. So it's gonna take some time to break her of that before we can let her out with yeah. all the other cows, so. And while you're, while a lot of people are thinking, well, well just let her out there, just don't, you know. She'll never the stop. The problem is she'll never stop. And as she gets older, her teeth get sharper, sharp, and not sharp, not like razors. They'll cut her. They cut the teats of the mom yeah. and, and it causes damage to the mom's teeth. So that's why we're, we're separating them. Teetle D and Teetle Dumb. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. So. so that's it for right now. That's what's going on. Yeah. And if I can talk her into it, maybe we'll do a live stream. She says no. I need to work on the cookbook. You guys want the new cookbook, right? It's coming out. And the faster I can get it done, the faster you'll get it. Oh my gosh, people. There's some cool recipes in I there. I, okay. A lot of instant pot recipes, a lot of like yeah. uh, really, really money saving recipes. Frugal recipes, yeah. Super frugal. Super frugal. Uh, here, here's the thing. I'm really wanting to get this cookbook done for you guys that I am not opening new school curriculum. That, oh, you, that oh has you're saying you want mail. so much. I want, to, I want so much to get it done because I know that if I open these boxes of new curriculum, Came I'm not the getting mail. the cookbook done. So the cookbook's gonna get done, <laughs> then I can work on school. <laughs> Maybe I should hide it. I'll go sneak no, it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll it. Ha have restraint. You have no self-control. I do too. When was last time was I? When was the last time I had a Reese's cup? That's not fair. It's been a long time. That's called self-control. It's not fair. It's been a long time. There's a lot of things I gave up. Yep. Self-control. Breathing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not a good one to give up. No, don't give that one up. With that said, <laughs> I'm Brad. I'm Krista. <laughs> you have, have an amazing, amazing and blessed day. <laughs>